This is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the entire solar system in Scratch. I decided I would show this to you guys as it's astronomy day, well, at least at the day of recording. From moon to the near 12 kilometers to the 4.6 billion kilometers stretched to Neptune's orbit, this simulation is both explorable and interactive, and unfinished. Wait, 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 slow down a bit. How did I make this? Well, I started with the blank project, of course. Each planet and celestial object is represented by a single sprite and 20 or 30 clones which are programmed to move and interact realistically. Let's start with the coding behind the sun. For example, we can see here it has a single music. We can put the distance in kilometers, rotation, mass, temperature, and everything here. Now, the sun sprite is the center of the project and everything is programmed to rotate around the sun. Speaking of rotation, I did have a lot of trouble with making the objects actually go around the sun properly, which is what this is for. So what I tried to do is use glide blocks, which didn't really work because the math was impossible. After looking at my math notes and doing some research, I ended up using the sine and cos blocks in operators. Turns out they're super useful because they're used to make a circle in the sine wave. If you don't understand, you don't need to. Of course, creating circular orbit is still difficult. So the distances are also perfectly to scale. I'm opening it in turbo warp. You can see it has 60 FPS, which is, which is really good for simulating your projects so yeah distances are all perfectly to scale so for an example let's just zoom in on the earth and see what happens as you can see this counter at the bottom right tells you how many kilometers is from this edge of the screen to the other edge and as you can see if i line it up perfectly the distance between the earth and the moon is about 376,000 kilometers approximately and if i searched it up that's pretty much accurate 384,000 kilometers to 376 of course I did not do it perfectly, but it is accurate enough. Also, the sizes of the planets are perfect, and if you try to get too close, it kicks you away, which I think was pretty fun. So here you can see 13,000 kilometers. Actually, the planets do need to be a tiny bit bigger, which is a problem. I'll show you that rotation is also accounted for. Okay, so just here is an example. Rotation and speed is both taken into account. So I can just turn on and off shadows as well, which is really cool, if you ask me. You can also turn off sounds and music if you didn't notice, or turn off the names just for the full experience. I'm just going to leave, and there you go. Without the names, you can see every single planet in the solar system orbit. I'm just going to speed it up. And this should be a wallpaper, honestly. All the distances to the sun are to scale, and just shows how small the inner solar system is compared to the rest. I know you may have noticed that Neptune and Uranus are purple, and a few other things I'll show you later. But that's just because I haven't drawn, drawn the art for them yet. And speaking of the art, I did actually draw the art by myself. Yes, I am also an artist. Very rare for someone who codes as well. So I didn't just add the planets as well, as long as the moon was there. I also added Phobos and Deimos. But if we zoom in on Jupiter, you can see that I, I went to town with the moons. We got Phoebe and Amalthea just tidily locked to Jupiter. So if we go back to the actual code here, we can see that some of the information in the data block isn't actually used, like the mass or the temperature and surface gravity. Well, that's actually part of this collapsical of this collapsible thing on the side. I'm not sure what to call it. Maybe an information tab, and it gives you all the information on the object that you're clicking, which I think is pretty useful, especially for this kind of project. Here it tells you how fast the simulation is going, which I pretty sure you already figured out. So I hope you like this new devlog kind of video. Tell me in the comments if you guys liked it. And I know I haven't been posting recently because I've had a lot of schoolwork. Please also don't comment about that. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.